Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my excuse me. There we go. More centered now. Uh, my film series review, Volume Ten, and like last week, I reviewed Night in the Museum. This is the Night in the Museum collection, and I reviewed Night in the Museum. Now, I'm reviewing in this video to be Night in the Museum Part Two, which is the battle for the Smithsonian. There we go. Like right there. You can see that. Okay, that movie came out in 20, 2009, 2009, and part, I found out, I think through, thanks to JW Universe, that part three is coming out in December of this year, which I'm looking forward to, because I like the Navy Museum movies. Anyway, in this movie, okay, so stars, of course, Ben, I was going to say Ben Affleck, no, <laughs> Ben Stiller, okay, you know, is the security guard, Larry Daly, okay, but in this story, it picks up um, a couple of years later after the fact, and uh, Larry Daly, he's, uh, he's, he, remember, he's an inventor in the first movie, so in this movie, he's, his inventions have taken off, and he's kind of like, a, has his own company and everything, and he's actually quit working at the Smithsonian, uh, and also, and then he finds out later, uh, actually, he gets a phone call, believe it or not, uh, that he finds out that, from, I think it was from the Owen Wilson's character, right, Owen Wilson, the Jedediah calls him, and lets him know that uh, basically they're being, you know, and he goes to the museum and he finds out through, you know, through Ricky Javaris' character, who is the coordinator, that everything's been is going is going to be shipped to uh, to the head museum back in Washington. It's getting shipped to the Federal Archives in Washington, okay? And everybody except uh, Teddy Roosevelt, Robin Williams' character, is going, and so basically he's going to. He's, travel, he's going to travel to Washington and see what he can do and see if he can uh, get everybody back together. But he also finds out that uh, uh, through uh, Jedediah that uh, Kam, I think his name is how you pronounce this? Kamara uh, was played by Hank Cesare. He's like the brother, the older brother of, um, of Ak Ak Akman, Akmar, Akmaran, right? I think I pronounced that right. Maybe I butcher that. You remember he was the benevolent leader of the Egyptians, uh, but he's found out that the older brother, played by uh, by a hilarious Hank Cesare, he he wants the uh, to get the uh, the the, the plaque, not the I'm gonna say the plaque. He wants to get the uh, the gold thing that allows everybody to come back to life. He wants to to get it, and he wants to bring his men back and conquer the world. Based so, in this movie, Larry Daly is. Uh, trying to reunite everybody and stop this crazy madman <laughs> Hank Cazara from who you know plays I can't I'm gonna see if I butcher his name again I'm gonna butcher his name again but I'm gonna attempt it one more time Ka, Ka, it's Kamara Kamara okay uh, he was the jealous older brother okay and he wants to uh, so basically uh, Larry has to travel to Washington and get everybody together rescue his friends you know and Try, and try to stop. Yeah, I'm gonna just call him Hank Cazara because it, uh, that's what that's the actor who plays the name. And I started butchering his name, trying to say his name 50 million times. Of course, along the way, he runs into Amelia Earhart, played by Amy Adams, who decides to because she likes adventure to uh, tag along with him in his quest to to try to stop Hank Cazara's character from you know getting the the tablet and putting the combination and unleashing his underworld army and conquering the world, which he wants to do. And he gets help from uh, Ivan the Temple, played by Christopher Guest, uh, uh, Al Capone, and who else? And Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He gets those three and their men to help him, you know, rescue. And basically, it's a mad race between Larry, you know, Ben Stiller's character and Amy Adams there, you know. And the great thing about, I love about the story is that they switched it to Washington's. And so you have all the, you know, the big Smithsonian, which has all the different museums and stuff. So you have more characters in it, you know, you have, and you kind of open up the story. The only, I think, kind of negative thing to me is that Robin Williams wasn't in the movie as much because I liked his Teddy Roosevelt character. Uh, he's, you know, he kind of makes more like an extended cameo in this movie. But, you know, I, I, that's the only negative to me. Robin Williams isn't, isn't this enough for me. And so I hope for the next movie he is in this more. But other than that, this movie is great. And again, Steve Coogan and uh, Owen Wilson are great. You know, as the two buddies, you know, you know, they they get along and 
and this and fight from time to time but they're fantastic and i love the voices that, i love the voice that hank azara was using in this movie and you know he does the voices for the simpsons so he's a great you know he can does all he can do all the great voices but i think he was the the voice he was putting on was sort of like a boris karloff voice i think that was the voice that he was going for okay and it was just hilarious and also there's a small cameo from uh what's his name oh, geez, i can't remember his name the guy from uh uh, 21 Jump Street. I can't even remember his name. Uh, he, he plays a security guard at the beginning of the movie. I can't remember his name. Jeez, why can't I draw a blank on his name? Uh, geez, hold on. I'm looking at his name. I can't remember. This is really pissing me off. I can't remember his name. He has like a small cameo in this movie. Uh, I'll get the full cast list and give you the name. Uh, it's a small cameo, but it's, it's hilarious. Uh, uh, I'll tell you, let me think of his name. Uh, see, I got trying to get his name. Hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me, it'll come to me. Jonah Hill. I'm sorry. Jeez, why can't I? I couldn't remember the name. He plays a security guard who Larry briefly runs into, and it's uh, it's hilarious. The little the little sequence is is hilarious, and and I wouldn't be surprised if they improv that because that's absolutely hilarious to what they do. Okay. Anyway, um, he's great, and um. And also, um, there's also, I forgot about, what's called was in this, and I didn't realize this the first time I saw this. Um, Craig Robinson's in there. <laughs> he plays one of the Tuskegee Airmen. Okay, and Jay Verishaw plays a sailor. He's in there real briefly. And Mindy Kaling is in there. She plays like, an, like an, a guy in Washington, one of the guys and stuff. And she's funny in a little brief moment that she's in there. Okay, and um, like I said, I love, and Bill Hader is in there. Uh, he plays uh, Custard. And he's hilarious too, as well. Uh, so, but I like I said, like I said, Steve Coogan plays Octavius, and you know Owen Wilson is Jedediah, and I love I love this the whole film. I like that they moved it to Washington, and I like they changed the story up a little bit and made it more of an action type of thing. But it's it's still good and enjoyable, and I I really really like this movie. Like I said, this is a nice series, really good and really funny, and totally worth checking out. I would give Night in the Museum. To, I think it's just as good as the first one. I would give this definitely a 7 out of 10. Just really enjoyable and totally worth getting. And another thing that is kind of stating the obvious, Amy Adams looks absolutely gorgeous in this movie. Okay, and both, you'll see what I'm saying when I say both her appearances. You'll know what I mean when you watch the movie. But anyway, a 7 out of 10, definitely. And I definitely can't wait for the third movie to come out. Definitely go see that. Okay, definitely love the Night in Museum films. Really great, really fun. Okay, let me know what you think of Night in Museum 2 if you're looking forward to Night in Museum 3. Feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.